Good morning. I do believe that we are live and I'm trying to open up the live chat in the little chat box here on the left hand side. So I'm just getting myself organized and we will I'll put that on the left. There we go. So good morning. Welcome to today's live RC coffee chat. So I need to write the little disclaimer in there which we leave all screw ups in. Happy days. There is a live chat which goes along with this episode, so feel free to jump in. And if you are also watching the recorded version, don't forget you can pop your comments or questions in the comments section underneath this video. So with that said, we've got lots of topics today and I will do my best to get through them as quickly as possible. So quickly, uh, good morning, Brian, good morning, Gordon, and good morning, Wayne. And also, uh, good afternoon, Anthony, who is in Melbourne. So. Like I said, there is a live chat running on alongside this in the background, and I'll put that on the screen uh, there. I'll do my best to keep that on the screen as much as I can so that you can see what I'm talking about and what you're chatting about uh, in the background as well. So with that said, we do have a collection of topics for today's RC Coffee Chat. The first one is we had a reply from Eagle Tree Systems. If you've got no idea about that, you'll find out about that in a few moments time and Oh, two of you from Melbourne. Good afternoon. Uh, Cloud's unboxing episode went live last night. Uh, Mini Drac overview by Team Legit. So we've got a couple of videos coming out today in today's RC Coffee Chat, but don't panic about running off and watching them immediately. I've put all the links to them in the video description for you. Uh, and also at the end, they are in, I think it's this top left-hand corner, uh, your top right-hand corner uh, is, that's really confusing by the way, uh, in your top right hand corner there's a little bit a little eye icon and you'll be able to watch them at the end of this episode we also oh ron you're just a legend you really are i genuinely mean that we also have fuxed wing friday as well <laughs> and it involves a hammer you're off your trolley uh right we glued oh i've glued up the clouds section well the top section as well and i made a screw up so i need to share that screw up with you as well uh Oh yeah, we do have a note around the Wombat introduction episode as well. Uh, we have, oh, I have finally, <laughs> I've been flying since March last year and I finally subscribed to Hobby King on, you, on YouTube. And uh, I'm glad that I did because I discovered something which is absolutely bat poop crazy. And you can see that in the background. Wow, got to have one, like, card out. I might as well just go and buy them misses a handbag and some earrings right now because I'm going to need them because that's going on sale shortly and I cannot wait. Uh, what else we got? Uh, today is supposed to be a flying day. Now, note the term there, supposed to be. Uh, we also have a 1S micro quad here as well, I believe. Uh, so we'll have a little note around that one. And then I've got a little bit of her housekeeping to wrap up as well. So if you have any new uh, uh, new people here, yes, good evening, uh, Daniel, uh, and yes, happy days. Right, so I'm gonna move the chat off the screen and get into today's topics. So the first topic is that we had a reply from Eagle Tree Systems uh, about the vector suggestion, and frankly, I'm shocked that this, well, I know for a fact this has been uh, requested numerous times because it's splattered all across RC groups. That's why I found out that you couldn't do it. Uh, but they have been back in touch. I've been and put the reply in here. I'll quickly read it out just for reference. Matthew, the aux or outputs are not currently configurable as pass-through. We are adding your suggestion to our feature request list. Uh, which our product development team reviews regularly for prioritization and future development project projects. So if you haven't got seen that and you own an Eagle Tree Vector and feel that that would be a good idea, um, do leave us a comment or a suggestion uh, underneath that video. Now, don't worry about the links to all of these videos which I'm going to be covering today. Like I said, they are in the video description underneath today's live episode uh, and they are in a little eye symbol up in the top left hand corner as well. Topic number two. Oh. Team Legit, now I need to turn this down and let's go across. So that's Johnny over at Team Legit. Where is it? We'll, we'll just skip forwards a bit. Uh, they've been and received one of the uh, mini Drax. Wow. And I'm sure many of you know that we have two on order. 
uh, with Team Legit and you can pre-order them as well. So if you've been waiting to see uh, what the mini drag looks like, then that video is for you. Uh, and Johnny walks for you all the parts which are in the kit, etc., etc. Now I am going to pause just to have a quick look at uh, what's going on in the chat. Uh, Anthony says, are you going to say Wombat? I am going to say Wombat at some point or another. Uh, <laughs> let's have a quick look on there and yeah, just catch it up with the chat in the background. Looks like we're all good. Uh, brilliant. Uh, by the way, if any of you do have an issue watching this episode live on YouTube and the sound or audio gets out of sync, just refresh the page and you can catch up from before. Right, next topic. Um, by the way, I'll put a link to that video and the mini drac over on the Team Legit site in the video. Well, it's already in the video description for you. Next topic. Ron, you're, ab you're an absolute legend and... Um, Apparently, it wasn't a particularly good flying day down in New Zealand uh, today. And uh, there's Ron using a very large persuader uh, for Fuxed Wing Friday. <laughs> and you've got to watch it. <laughs> Ron, you're an absolute legend. Uh, and there, remember, there is that link to the, the, all of the episodes in the video description. Uh, Ron is definitely off his trolley um, and in a very good way. And I find that episode absolutely hilarious so do take your time to go and watch that episode because like i said it's not a good flying day and we also see see the uh state of the model which went into um oh, i've forgotten his name now uh flew into which ron flew into his leg and the state of it as well uh, hmm. curious right next topic is the clouds now Actually, I'm, I'm just going to go off slightly off topic. Is Aero FPV and so I'm not fully awake yet. Um, there was another chappy I was chatting to. They all have ordered and received the XUAV clouds, and they have all received damage to their clouds in transit. Now, I mentioned we had the unboxing episode yesterday. Uh, which if you haven't seen yet, there she is. We go, and I know it's a longer episode, but I wanted to go through the details uh, of what you get in the kit. Um, and it really does boil down to packaging, uh, not only for XUAV, for not putting it in a strong enough box. Uh, remember, the Mini Talon was in a triple skin uh, box, fantastic quality box. One of those boxes actually worth keeping. Whereas, uh, and then Banggood should have also double boxed them as well. So the three people which I know who also have had a clouds have all had damage in the mail as well. So let's hope, fingers crossed, that they take this feedback on so that if you get by one in the future, that at least it's been double boxed or hopefully in future, um, in the manufacturing process, they sort the box out. Uh, to make it a damn sight tougher because in its current form it's just not up uh, for transit in short so yeah uh, and oh yeah a big hat tip to aero fpv you can look them up on newbles uh, for reminding me that i need to glue the nuts in first before i put the two parts together now i do have her here right now and that's going to play really good fun uh with the uh webcam with the white balance now, last night was a bit of uh, an epic session, and I did make a screw-up. I'll make point out the screw-up to you in a moment. So I haven't glued on the bottom section just yet. And we'll get to the bottom section in a moment. Uh, what I've been and done, and I've, I've, I've got some photos on the desktop, I forgot to glue in the wooden pieces which go in here. So what I'm going to need to do is get the Dremel out and then put a side cut in uh, on the wooden piece. Uh, and then fit them in manually, which is going to be a complete ball battle. Well, I have to do it from the top, actually, so I can get it to fit down, um, which is going to be a complete pain in the rear. Completely overlooked it, and there's two, like, T-pieces which go in there. Uh, also, I did get the craft knife out. I was really unhappy uh, around the way the wires come in through the, for the motor mount on the nose here and come in and around to the ESC. I have carved out quite a fair chunk uh, well, not like a massive chunk, but a decent sized chunk uh, in the bottom of there uh, so that the leads are able to get around. And again, just a little bit prior planning, planning with the like the sensible motor. This, if this was like half an inch to the right, then this wouldn't be an issue. Uh, you wouldn't be trying to join up the ESC leads to the motor leads uh, in uh, and underneath foam. So that that area there could definitely do with some work. Uh, and yeah, I had fun gluing it up last night because 
Uh, I had to use Yoohoo Piss Pour, uh, you know that stuff which just turns yellow uh, when it get, hits sunlight. Uh, I glued up <laughs> what I thought was that piece, uh, and actually I glued up that piece, uh, and then realised I glued up the wrong side because I'd obviously glued the bed in that one as well, uh, so then it was all just turned into a mass panic, uh, and that's probably why I've forgotten the wooden piece in the middle, um, just for my poor planning on there. Now that's what I've, that's, so the bottom piece is done, I'm slowly working away at this one. Uh, the hex bolts go in here and here, but I will be putting some uh, uh, 1.5mm ply in these sections just to ensure uh, that the, it's just got extra little bit of strength. Now talking of strength, and by the way I can see the chat going on in the background, uh, I will get to your comments in a few moments, uh, is that I have been and put a plywood base. Uh, in the bottom of this model. I know it's only 1.5 mil ply, so it's gonna add very little weight. There's, there's only a couple of grams in this, uh, but the thing is, it will add extra rigidity in the fuselage, and I've been and made these custom pieces like this, which you can see have all been molded out, and then they sit up on the inside, and then I'll go in and probably uh, either use Yuhu Pour or epoxy uh, to glue those into the sides. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with that. Now, there was a big camera hole in here, which was a, which left really, really thin um, foam at the bottom. Now, let me just go and grab my desktop a second. Let's see where, because I've got some photographs of this, which I'll share with you. Uh, let's have a quick look. Where are we? Yeah, there's the hole which was before. So you'll see, oh, my head's in the way. That's one of the nice things about doing this live. You can see it's in the way. Uh, there was this big camera hole at the bottom, obviously for a down-facing camera, but the EPO foam was really, really like weak there. I wasn't happy with that. So uh, the original rainbow wing, which I had, uh, I've, I decided, well, was that the original one? No, it was the second one. No, no, it was the original one, which I uh, hacked to pieces and saved the foam. Uh, just got a compass out, measured how big it, what the circle was. Uh, and then just compassed out, cut around in a piece of EP, uh, EPP foam, so not the ideal foam for that, uh, and then put loads of Yuhu pour in there, uh, and then we, have I got a finished photo? No, I just carved out another piece of plywood and then put that in top, and then just sat a brick uh, in there on top of it, and yeah, there's a, put that on top, so that's what I did. Put the foam in there, put the board in, plenty of Yuhu pour, and then just stuck a brick on it for a couple of hours, uh, and that's been and worked out really, really well. Now, there was some uh, adaptations which I needed to make to this one. Let me just show you on there. That's what I've had to do. Remember I said about having to cut out and dig in so that the leads can wrap around a little bit more easily. Uh, that's the uh, tweak which I made to that so that we gain an extra little bit, of fuel, like just a few extra millimeters of cord length uh, on the motor leads to go into the ESC so that I actually stand a chance of actually putting them together uh, when uh, we put the motors together. And I did even consider put a main, actually mounting the motors on the end uh, and then like wiring it up before putting it together. But I just felt that the weight on the motor was just gonna be on the, the, the wing end was just gonna be too much and I was gonna end up with like a CAC made build. Uh, so I got the knife out instead uh, and trimmed that around and just stuck a load of batteries in on top of her, uh, just to, while she was gluing up. And that went really, really well, except for the one daft mistake of not putting the wood spars in there. Oopsie daisy, it happens. Now I am gonna pause, uh, just have a quick through the chat. Uh, just have a quick look on there. Matt, quick question uh, when you can. Is there a place to buy large EPP foam, like foam board? Uh, I don't know, it seems to be only the model stores or the model makers which have got access to EPP. Uh, I don't know too much about the manufacturing process and I can also tell you that EPP tends to be rather expensive. Uh, so I do not know, I genuinely do not know uh, for that one. So Wayne, good question, uh, genuinely don't know the answer. Oh yeah, Ron flew into, is it Vogue, uh, Vang? Oh, sorry. My pronunciations are terrible. Uh, let's come look out. I'm just quickly going through the chat here in the background. And by the way, that's why I'm just quickly reading through. Uh, Jazzy says, are you using hot and hot glue anywhere? No. Not at all. No way. I'm not putting hot glue in that model. I may use it for a random piece to hold it on the side or something like that. Uh, but the model won't be 
um, glued together with hot glue. Um, in that section there, if you consider that I had the wing spar to um, get glued up either side, I had the bottom to get wired well, and those two pieces there to get glued and these end pieces as well. There's no chance in the Blue Monkeys that I am going to be using a hot glue uh, to do that. So yeah, hot glue, fine for smaller models. Not going to be using it on that one. Um, it's $180 worth of model. So you make your own decision on that one. I'm going to use glue, which I know which sticks, even if I do complain about you who pour tin in PP color uh, a later date. Uh, good morning, Rick, by the way. Uh, so Crash says EPP is usually sold in four by eight by one foot blocks, hard to ship and expensive. Yeah, that kind of some, yeah, they do come in big pieces to say the least. Right, let's get ourselves back onto topic. Right, last night I actually published the unboxing of the XUV UAV clouds. Uh, that wasn't due out until tomorrow, but I decided that I was really kind of unhappy with the introduction episode to the Wombat. Now, the reason I wasn't happy with the introduction to the Wombat is because I felt it was boring. Um, it was about 25 mi minutes of me uh, chatting about the build process. So I am going to completely record that uh, and step things up a beat. And it also very ha it's also really handy that I have the Wombat pretty much built here now uh, so that we can say, look at what we've got here. It really is amazeballs uh, and then we'll talk about the build process itself uh, so I will be re-recording re that today no apologies on that one I just felt that the introduction episode was frankly boring and I could do a lot better so that is what I'm going to be doing next topic is Hobby King and like I said I only literally subscribed to that yesterday Finally got around to it. And uh, yeah, the EFX Racing. Now, nobody wants to sell their EFX Racers, the original, which came out. And um, frankly honest, I don't blame them because they are mad and they are like rocking horse poop to get hold of. Now, they are, nobody wants to sell them because you just can't get them anymore. And I'm just pouring, uh, pulls in for a sip. Now, uh, they've been and uh, created a slightly faster one. Uh, in short, I think it's got a slightly different motor uh, and they've got some little wing tips on there so you help with rolls and um, I'll get to another chaps video in a moment on this. Uh, and they are mental in the sky. They also do come with an FPV pod, which we can see that we've got there. Now that is gonna be absolutely crazy because this model has got to be well over 100 miles an hour. Uh, when you see it in the sky, it is absolutely crazy. And like I said, I will put links to all the videos which I've mentioned today uh, in the video description and in the cards in the top left-hand corner. But there is one extra video which you do wanna go and watch and it's a chap called uh, Tom. Uh, go and watch Tom's video. In fact, for those of you which are in the chat, I will put that straight in the chat now for you. There you go. Um, have a look at that one after today's RC Coffee Chat. Absolutely bonkers. So I'd better go and order the wife a handbag and some earrings or a necklace or I don't care whatever uh, I can do to make sure that I get one of those the second they are available because they do look bonkers and that's right up my street. Um, and I do have serious concerns about how long that model is going to last me um, because one little mistake at those speeds and yeah I better be on my A game that is going to be the model to fly after I've got all my silliness out of the way on the flight line and probably about 15 flights in then we'll get the uh, racer out and then take that for a damn good spank around once I've got myself warmed up absolutely crazy um, <laughs> Anthony stop picking on the other fellow pilots uh, Anthony suggested that Sir Crash a lot change your name to Landed. <laughs> oh, a good comeback, Sir Crash a lot. I like that. Uh, so, anyway, nice chat in the background. Right, the last but two topics or so is that today is actually supposed to be a flying day. Um, we're supposed to be going up to, the, well, the lads are going up to a new slope, which I've never flown that up before. But unfortunately, practicality is kicked in. 
I do have the builder, a plasterer, a plumber, and the electrician today. Uh, here we are completely re retrofit in the kitchen. Um, you will see it's just an absolute poop storm uh, in that kitchen at the moment. Uh, the only thing left usable in the kitchen is uh, ooh, the sink, and that's due to get ripped out today. So, and all the plasters off the wall. The guys were putting plasterboard or the fireboard on the ceiling and stuff. <sighs> yeah, crazy stuff. So, and also, if I'm frankly honest, I am still heavily in work mode from yesterday. So yesterday, I spent the entire day uh, either preparing or recording uh, episodes for um, uh, a little project which we're working on, nothing RC related. Uh, and frankly speaking, I'm still in work mode, so I would like to maintain the pace on that uh, and get some work stuff done. So I think I've got to pull a hard card on that one and say that I'm not going to go flying today, which sucks because it's a new slope. It's down when it will. We've got sleet out there at the moment. Uh, and no, it is 0621 in the morning, so I hope it cheers up for the lads later. But the brutal reality is practical stuff is kicking in, practical stuff with people which are here and also I'm also frankly speaking I'm in a worky mode uh, so that I'm going to go and continue that on. The last topic which I've got uh, and I'm just checking in the chat as well and um, the last topic which I'm going to co cover is this little package here. Now I'm not going to show you the other side but it does say a uh, multi-copter. Now I haven't ordered any multi-copters late, uh, 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 lately but someone did send me one for review, and that is the 1S Racing Quadcopter. Now, it's still all sealed in a bag. Uh, I will do an unboxing episode of this one. And remember, this is the uh, Racing Quad, which I said I'd give away for free and send it anywhere in the world. I was just looking for a competition to do. Uh, and a big hat tip to uh, Andrew, Jamie, and a couple of the other uh, of you in the Facebook group. And by the way, shameless plug for the Facebook group. If you want to join in with the chat after today's RC Coffee Chat, uh, if you go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash rag the nuts off, hit the join button on the right hand side and I'll pick that or one of us will pick that up later today. Uh, and uh, you can join in with the chat um, with other pilots, with something like 383 other pilots, crazy people like me and you. Uh, anyway. Coming back to that one, what we're going to do is all the servo arms which I've collected, uh, we're going to stick them in the jam jar, shake them up, uh, and then whoever gets the count correct or the closest, uh, you will be winning this model. And like I said, I will send it anywhere in the world to you. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Assuming it is any good, which I'm holding reservation. It's a 1S quadcopter with brushless motors. What's the flight time going to be like? How have they set it up in beta flight? Does it actually fly very well at all? I don't know. We'll find out very shortly. So that one's been arrived. That turned up yesterday. Yeah, happy days. Right. Uh, I'm just quickly checking on the chat in the background when it comes on the screen. Uh, you're getting the wife a new kitchen. That should be good for at least 10 planes. <laughs> now, Granny actually paid for the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> happy days um, oh Matt you come up with some great tips in these videos didn't even realise the times never boy happy days yeah what s what s it's going to be bonkers it's going to be absolutely bonkers right yeah come on Anthony it's about time you joined the group even Jeff joined the group yesterday happy man that's 7 demo 7 by the way uh, and actually let's do a shameless plug for Jeff while we're here if you've not seen Jeff's channel, which I'm sure most of you have already been and seen it, go and up, go and look up seven seven demo seven, uh, and have a look at some of Jeff's episodes. Uh, personally speaking, some of the, his later, uh, sorry, some of his earlier ones are my favourite ones, uh, and yeah, he's posted more of episodes than what I am at the moment. Good boy, brilliant. Right, let's get back to our show notes. Right, and it's time for me to wrap up. If you have any questions, please ask right now in the chat. Uh, if not, we're gonna wrap up relatively on time for today. So in summary, we had a reply from Eagle Tree Systems. That's happy days. Whether they actually put it into a feature, nobody knows. 
Let's hope so. Fingers crossed on that one. Uh, we had the clouds unboxing episode, which went out yesterday. Remember, the links to all these uh, videos are in the underneath this episode uh, and also in the top left hand corner as well. Uh, oh, man. Mini drag. Oh, once in a lifetime model. Can't wait. I genuinely cannot wait for my mini drag. That is going to be screw work, screw flying. Let's get it on the build bench. Let's get it built, and whatever the weather, we're going out flying. Um, I cannot wait for my mini drag to turn up. Uh, absolutely bonkers. Uh, and as Dave put it the other day as well, that's it is a once in a lifetime to be kept for a lifetime model, uh, and I am so looking forward to that. Oh, crazy. I'm just be. I, it's just that little lull point now where. Um, it's been in production. We, we knew it was going to come out. So we, we didn't know that it was going to get pr pr produced. And then there was a hint that it was going to go and get produced. Then it did get produced. And then it was available for pre order, before, like in October. And then it, we're in that like two, three months period now while the first one or two kits are getting dripped out. And yeah, I'm, I'm just in that lull moment. It was just, look, I can see it on the screen. I just want to like stick it, glue it together, and let's get it flown. Um, unbelievable model. Right, next topic is Fucks to Wing Friday. <laughs> Honestly, Ron, what you like. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious. If you fancy a chuckle this morning, this evening, or this afternoon, uh, go and watch Ron's, uh, Ron's Fucks to Wing Friday. Absolutely hilarious. I really did chuckle my pants off at that one. The, oh, of the glue, the clouds is progressing with one or two screw ups along the way. Uh, what have we got? Uh, one back introduction episode is being completely re-recorded. I do feel for the better. Hobby King Jurafly. Well, number one, I finally got round to subscribing to Hobby King on YouTube. And that was the reason why. And if you would like to see it flying, look over on the right hand side. There's a, a video called Jur Jurafly EFX Extra Flight Review Video uh, by a chap called Tom. Oh, bonkers. I so got to try it. That movie does. You've got to watch that video. What he does, he spanks it from the right all the way across the screen, and then uh, sorry, across the flight line, and then banks it up. And then what does he do? What was he doing? Uh, he's using full left rudder, full down, um, uh, full left aileron, and full down. Uh, yeah, and you just watch the mod. <laughs> You've got to see that video. It's fucking nuts. <laughs> it's absolutely bonkers. Uh, and apologies for my language, but when you see what that guy does to that model, you'll agree that it might be something nuts. Um, man, uh, unbelievable. Uh, so I have to get my hands on one of those. Um, and I'm just going to pre-order a handbag and like I said, some earrings for the missus because I just want one of those. Um, but let's put this into perspective. That is a absolutely bonkers model. And I already know um, that that won't be the first model which we just go out for a chuck and a launch. Uh, that will be like the model which I fly like a dozen flights later. And when I feel that I'm on my A game uh, for flying that model because it is ridiculously fast. Uh, it is ridiculously aerobatic. Um, and it will be at the edge of my comfort zone, which I feel... Um, it's got to be worth a laugh, hasn't it? And then, heck, if it comes with an FPV pod. <laughs> Just imagine the carnage which you could cause. Right, I am trying to keep a quick eye uh, on the chat in the back room. Uh, can you put a link to the Blendum uh, vid tip video? Nope, just literally go onto the YouTube channel, channel, type in Blendum at the top, and it'll pop up. It's the one with the white roll and the yellow uh, sticker on there. Let's have a quick look, bang. Uh, mini drag is gonna be awesome. Everyone loves the full size, the mini one looks good. Absolutely, Daniel. I cannot wait. Um, yeah, Anthony, knowing Hobby King, a uh, quillion dollars, I agree with you. Right, I am gonna take a guess that this kit is gonna be, again, we got Brexit and we've got issues with the pound in the United Kingdom. I don't know what it's gonna be in dollars, but I would guess it's gonna be about the 150, 160 pounds mark. If it's less than that, I'm gonna be frankly surprised. 
Um, that is my personal threshold for that model. If, if it's gonna go over that by a fair amount, then it's gonna have to be a no. Um, 160 quid, that is my upper limit because for similar money you can get a Tundra. So I've already had that, that kind of that budget uh, for the EFX extra in my head. Um, yeah. And Hobby King, if you're watching this, please send one immediately. Uh, you have my address details. Uh, just put it in the post. Just, well, just wrap it up in a nice little box. Just send it across. Courier, 24 hour courier. That'd be mint and I'll just buy it, pay it for it. It would be bonkers. Uh, anyway. Um, Da, 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 da. What I was got on the Tribune Mail one as well. It may affect LIFO Fire. Oh my goodness me. Uh, so Crash Lot, you get that name for a reason, yeah? Uh, my EFX had a LIPO Fire on the Maiden. Smells bad, but survived. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, and by the way, I'll probably need to get some decent high C 4S batteries uh, for that model as well, because it is just going to sap the living daylights out of... Um, the batteries which I've got here. So I expect um, them to puff the ones which I've got. So I'll have to go and buy some decent high C 4S batteries for this one. Uh, and actually the bloke, I'm sorry, I don't even know, know, know the chap's name, literally. Honestly, I've just literally just subscribed yesterday. Uh, the chap even did a mention that, the, um, that he knows that us as in pilots have been running them on 6S as well. Um, so whoever's been running them on 6S, good boys, good boys. Right, next topic, uh, which we covered today, was today was supposed to be a slope soaring day. Unfortunately, practicality-wise, I am going to have to stay here, which frankly sucks nuts, because as you know, many of you know, I would rather be flying, but I've got other tasks which need to get done. And the 1S micro quad has arrived, not been opened yet. We'll see what it's like. Does it live up to our expectations? That, that can it actually, for a 1S battery, can it actually be classed as a racing quad? I don't know. It's got 10,000 kV motors on it. So that's gonna be spinning at 3,000, maybe 4,000 revolutions per second. That's gonna be bonkers, absolutely bonkers. And the last note is the after party for the RC Coffee Chats is the Facebook group. Uh, the link to the Facebook group is in the video description. Uh, hit the join button over here on the right hand side somewhere uh, and one of us will pick up the join request and um, join in with the chat in the background. Like I said, there's over 350 other cool pilots just like me and you uh, in there. And if you've got a question, somebody knows. That's why I like this group so much. It's fantastic. I get stuck so frequently, and I'll chuck a question in there, uh, and between us all, we'll find an answer or an approach to it as well. So everybody who has answered my questions in there, I sincerely mean it. Thank you ever so much. It has been highly appreciated uh, indeed. Uh, so, oh yeah, I'm just looking at the chat. Uh, brushless motors will make that little thing fly from Wayne. Yeah. Breakneck speeds for two seconds. <laughs> so we'll see on that one. So on that note, it's time for me to wrap up. Thank you ever so much for joining me for today's RC Coffee Chat. Now, if you did watch the recorded version, don't forget, if you've got any questions or comments, do let us know in the comments section underneath this video. And also, if you found us randomly, don't forget to press the subscribe button. These RC Coffee Chats, whether they're live or recorded, are done pretty much every single day. And as you can see, we are up to episode 105 already. Crazy stuff. So on that note, from myself, Matt, thank you ever so much for joining us today for today's RC. Still warm coffee chat. And on that note, from myself, Matt, and quick one, Stick Mix. Good morning. Thank you for joining us, fella. And the same for pizza as well. Remember, gents, you can rewind at any point and go back to the beginning if you've only just been and joined us. Uh, and James, oops, too late. Don't panic. Give YouTube a couple of minutes uh, and you'll be able to go back to rewind back to the beginning and carry on. And uh, yes, let's leave this on the tone for the day, uh, as suggested by Anthony Wombat. <laughs> and I really am going now. From myself, Matt, thank you ever so much for joining us today, and I shall see you again shortly. I need to go and find the stop button here somewhere, which is on that screen there. 
And again, this is only the second time I've done a live episode, so I'm leaving all my curiosities in here. And on that note, for myself, Matt, cheerios!